Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to see uh, the topic of approved vendor list by items in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. If you are watching my video for the first time, my name is Sriram Sivashankaran and I have been posting articles, documents and videos related to Dynamics 365 F&O, especially SCM. If you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile. Uh, so we have a functionality in Dynamics 365 which primarily allows the users to configure at the product level what are the approved list of vendors for an item. So this allows the user to control when which vendors can be used when the products are added to the uh, purchase orders. Whenever you create a purchase order, user will not be able to use any other vendors other than those list of vendors available in the approved vendors list. So how to configure this? That's what we are going to see in today's video. So first of all, in order to configure this, first you need to get into product information management and uh, click on release products. Release product contains the list of items applicable to this legal entity USMF, right? So let me select the first item, uh, click on this item number. Um, and then inside this item number, first of all, if you get into the purchase on the action pane, if you click on purchase tab, there is a section called approved vendors, right? So this is the section which we will cover today. So first we'll click on setup. So inside the setup session, you see there is no vendors which are actually added uh, as uh, approved vendors for this particular item, 030923. So in order to add the vendor, click on add, select the vendor list from the, so this will basically show you the list of all the vendors available from the vendor master. So let me select uh, vendor compact. You can also provide effective date. Today's date comes by default as effective date. And the expiration can be maybe I just want to give uh, uh, the maybe this year's end. Um, so that this primarily generally organizations generally do this configuration based on the purchase agreement because the purchase agreement is based on the respective financial years and every financial year and they will revise the purchase agreement. So so this will be generally based on the same. So I have added this item and uh, let me save this. And the, in, if we click on view, it just basically shows you current. If I click on current, then effective date will be removed. It will be based on the expiration. The system will throw, show you all the list of vendors applicable for this item. So it does not uh, uh, going to change what we are doing. So I'll click on save, I'll go back. And also if you see, if I click on approved vendors, first we did a setup, then I'll go to approved vendors. Then vendor whatever compact 007 whatever we have configured it comes over here so here users will not be able to edit it sometimes user will be given access only to view the approved vendors but uh, the roles and rights level we will be able to control whether who generally the purchase managers who will do the setup and uh, if you want to look at the effective period then uh, based on the effective period the system will show you so now the include in our expired is not enabled. So if I enable this, um, so so because we have configured it based on the date. Uh, so now let me configure it to the date. Okay, it is already 24, keep on 30th, I'll hit the 31. Now you can see the vendor which we have configured based on the expiration date, we can view it here, right? So so if I, if I go back to setup, if I change it to never, uh, to never I'll save it I'll come back now if I click on this uh, include never expire then automatically our item will come so basically based on the expiration we can also view the list of all the approved vendors so completely we can configure this and uh, once the approved vendor is configured in the setup you can view it in the vendors uh, vendor section also but before that there is one more setup if you go to purchase under purchase, uh, if you scroll, um, yeah, we have a setup called approved vendor check method. So by default, it is no check, which will basically will not throw you any warning or error message, but I'm just changing it to not allowed. Okay, so I'm saying that the vendors only the vendors probably will see first see the scenario of warning, warning only. Uh, I'm hit the save button. I'll duplicate this tab. Uh, and now what we are going to do is we are going to create a purchase order for compact with for this item so i'll go to accounts payable click on all purchase order you can also do it from procurement and sourcing module and uh, i'll click on new now i'll select the vendor compact 
um we are, th- this is not based on varos or site specific it is only vendor specific which we have given so you can choose any site and varos the item number is uh, 0320 okay i'll copy the same item number so now if i if you see after adding the item i i didn't get any error message the quantity has to be specified that is okay this is not relevant to whatever the error we are supposed to get but uh, here but here uh, what we need to see is uh, um if i go back let me delete this line i'll remove this line and then uh, i click on new now i'm going to create a new purchase order uh for sky bag okay because this is not an approved vendor from uh, as per our setup i'll remove change management which is not required and then now what we are going to we are going to do is we are just will just add the same item but the moment if i add the item system is going to throw a warning message saying vendor code is not authorized for the item on 482024 right so this is a warning message which we are getting but still i will be able to proceed by closing this uh, warning message i can add the quantity uh, and then i can proceed for purchasing the item right but instead if i don't want a warning message but i should not allow the user as a purchasing manager i just want to ensure only the authorized vendors are used for purchases in those cases i need to modify the setup to not allowed and once again if i go back i'll remove this i click on add line then i'll add the same item this time you see we are basically getting a error message it's not a warning message so this will not allow us to proceed even though if i close this and hit the save button system will not allow us to proceed because uh, some information entered is not valid so by this way the purchasing managers can have absolute control over the approved vendor check okay so this is one of the fantastic option available in uh, d365 also you can configure the vendor in case so by default whichever the vendor you want you can configure it but here the one uh, tricky part is once if i have given the option as approved vendor check method not allowed then if i select according to us this in the setup we have given compaq let's say if i select sky bag so system will throw a error message is not approved because we need to select only the approved vendors if the check method is not allowed so if i select compaq system is not throw any error message so this is completely fine for the system because only the approved vendor should be part of the default vendor if we choose the uh, check method as not allowed but if we select the check method as no check or warning only then any vendor can be selected over here right so that is also one of the important setup which is actually required uh, and also users if they want to view the approved vendors list like i told before under uh, procurement and sourcing vendors uh vendor item relationship approved vendor list by items so here the this inquiry page will contain the list of all the approved vendors where we can uh, do the filtration and identify the approved vendors based on our requirements right so that's it for today so this is an important topic in uh, supply chain management in order to control in order to have control over your purchases based on approved vendors and uh, hope to see you in another interesting topic tomorrow thank you